What up, man? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, second episode, Talking Spec. Uh, we'll be coming at you with all your different uh, tech, whether it be uh, car tech, or just pretty much electronics all the way around. So anything that uh, either we've already picked up or stuff that I'm going to pick up, it'll be on the channel. So this video, man, I've had uh, plenty of questions um, asked on settings, functionality, um, factory settings you had. So decided to do another quick video, man, answer a lot of those questions and give information based on if you are looking at adding one of these to your vehicle. So let's jump into the video. So, all right, man, this here is your Phoenix Automotive Tesla uh, uh, radio. Um, pretty much all the functionality of a tablet just in your car, of course. So... Um, I've had this since May of last year. Um, pretty much all your settings, um, which looks pretty much cut and dry. Um, of course, you go into your apps and then, of course, you have all your climate controls, which I have my um, uh, climate control as well as my tax bar up top. I have them hidden to kind of give me a little bit more um functionality or a little bit more viewability of the screen if you will so um you can access all your same settings you can anything that you can put on your phone tablet whatever you can have on here as you can see um i have all my uh streaming services of course my youtube my uh, live tv my hbo max um as well as my netflix uverse pretty much any and everything that um i check out while i'm at home you know, it kind of makes road trips that much more, um, or should I say shorter? I wouldn't say, you know, make them more um, uh, tolerable. I mean, everybody, I wouldn't say everybody, but the majority of everybody enjoys road trips, especially in this day and time when we're dealing with the stuff that we're dealing with. So, um, so let's jump into it. All right. So mine is in a 2016 Dodge Durango. Um, the ordering process is basically um, you get in touch with Phoenix Automotive. They also have um, another site, uh, Rhino Radios, which I haven't dealt with them, so I can't tell you what the experience is. Uh, mine took about a month to get from order to delivery, and that was just basically based on um, I ordered it around the time that COVID was you know, still in full effect, which it kind of still is, but not as much as it was when I ordered this around um, April sometime. Um, so other people that I've seen, they've gotten theirs in maybe about a week, maybe two. So you may not have to wait as long as I did. Um, also, um, I had to give them the uh, make, model, and year. And then I had to take a picture of my factory screen so they would know um what buttons to put back down here at the bottom which um i don't have the um park assist or the lane departure or uh the adaptive cruise control um i have the of course auto off which i wish that would stay off all the time uh, my eco mode my sport mode my trash control as well as my hazard lights all of that stuff works, but they need to kind of know that information to know what um, factory buttons to put back down there at the bottom. Um, outside of that, it's pretty cut and dry. You know what I mean? You pull your uh, factory stereo out and all of your factory plugs will plug back into the back of there. The only thing that I really had to hook up because my factory stereo didn't have a backup camera, um, which I had to actually hook that up, um, run the wiring for that and plug in my RCA jet and hook up my um, navigation, or should I say the antenna and all that stuff for the navigation, um, which it came with its own navigation, um, but I don't really like using that. I'm one to stick with either Waze or Google Maps. I don't really use um, Apple Maps. Uh, outside of that, uh, as far as navigation, use those two. And of course, I opted for the um, added wireless CarPlay, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, even though I have an iPhone, but it comes with both. Um, I think that was another 40 bucks or something like that. So 
Um, outside of that, uh, let's see if I can get my camera to cut on here. Um, of course, it'll be started because uh, it's actually bigger than that. That's a smaller, smaller screen there. Put to the home screen. All right, so I'll put it in reverse. This is what it'll actually look like. Um, the camera that I got I actually got off of Amazon. It's about 35 bucks. Um, clearest camera that I've had thus far. I had another one on here, which was decent, but the camera quality wasn't that good. Not only in the daytime, but at night. I couldn't see anything. This one, the picture is the same, whether it's day or night. So, uh, which is actually a little bit clearer than that. I think my lens is actually a little bit dirty. Um, so I'd actually have to clean that off. Let's see if I have something on there. All right, so we're back in. I did have a little bit of something on there. So there you have it. It's a whole lot clearer. Had a little bit on my lens back there. But like I said, I'll uh, see if I can track that down. Throw that in the description if you guys are looking for a camera. Um, outside of that, I normally um, throw my Wi-Fi, sitting in my Wi-Fi, my uh, hotspot to it. Um, I thought about going with a uh, one of the little portable Wi-Fi boxes from Verizon because that's who we have service with. But they said it would pretty much do the same thing because the only issue that I had with it is every now and again when I'm not doing very much with it, it'll disconnect. And they said I would have that same um, issue with my uh, with the little box if I decided to get one. Uh, but man, outside of that, you know, you can go into any of your settings, streaming apps, all of the stuff works the same way it would, whether it be on your TV, smartphone, whatever the case is. Um, if I can get this to pop up like it's supposed to, are you hooked up? Yeah, we're hooked up. I think I'm hooked up to the Wi-Fi from the house, so I don't know how fast this will be. Um, but pretty much, man, like I said, it's uh, does it. Uh, listed as uh, HD, but it shows crystal clear. So they may as well put that on there that it's HD quality video, unless they have that on the site. Didn't see it, but uh, well, Mr. Pop up. All right, let's go to live. See what we got on here. I was watching ESPN. I may actually need to hook up to mine because I don't know how strong of a signal I have from the Wi Fi in the house. So let me switch that over right quick. All right, so like I said, you have access to pretty much everything that you have access to um, at your home. Uh, let's see if I can get first take to come up here. The artist, formerly known as Stephen A. Smith. I can tell you're you're all you're all fired up. But you got your steering wheel controls. Um, pretty much everything that you would have um, factory, uh, which some people live. Uh, pretty much pulled a halt on trying to order because they heard, okay, well, you wouldn't have um, access to this or you would lose access to that. Um, there's a whole lot of settings in here. Um, it's kind of like, say, with my uh, factory stereo, the headrests, laying those down in the back, that was in settings. You go into here, the settings here, which is called console, um, and then you can let your headrest down in the back um, if you have that on yours. So, um, I don't have heated steering wheel or uh, heated seats, so I don't have that option in mine, but it gives you that option in here, your heated steering wheel, heated and cooled seats. Um, of course, your defrost and all that other kind of stuff works. All of your um, climate control, your rear climate control, you control all that. So all of that is accessible um, as well as all of your other... Um, Options. Let's go in the settings here. It's the only thing I don't really like about having my um, climate control in my bar to disappear sometimes is when I'm trying to get into something. It only gives you a couple seconds to jump into there. Um, but you can set up your default maps, uh, what video player you have as your default um also uh you can set your default radio so if you have streaming radio service that you like listening to you can set that as your default 
Uh, you can set these things to pop up as soon as you turn the stereo on, like say in one of my other streaming services, as soon as I turn it on, it goes back to the, pre the previous uh, channel that I was watching. Um, app customization, of course, this is kind of in the same thing to where um, it'll launch whatever app you want it to, depending on what uh, shortcut you have on your uh, home screen. Of course, your GPS stuff, it'll show your signals and uh, what satellites uh, you're getting signals to, how strong your signal strength is, your date and time, of course, your language, you can set that up. Equalizer, I don't really mess with this too, too much. Um, you'll actually still have access to your factory amp that's in here, as well as the amplifier that's inside of the stereo. So with volume on this, I've noticed it's a whole lot louder, um, which you kind of got to go in and toggle those settings a little bit, which those are in, I think they're in the uh, console settings. Once you go into those settings and then you'll be able to access your uh, bass treble and your mids. Uh, to turn those up or down uh, Once you get to that uh, Like I said with my factory one I would have to turn it up to about 22 23 to get a nice Quality sound on this one. I only have to turn it up to maybe eight or nine um, And then of course I have all of the extra uh, volume control to play with um, Dimmer don't really mess with that user settings uh, you can actually go in here and uh, Set your uh, auto split screen to your navigation uh, your parking lines, uh, play music while you're in reverse, which you'll have to go in and change that because factory settings, whenever you go into reverse, it'll mute whatever it is that you're watching or listening to. Um, your volume control, I have that on save so that way I don't have to keep turning my stereo either up or down when I get in. Um, your speed control, that's for uh, your different settings as far as when you're setting your uh, theme. Because depending on what theme that you set in here, it'll actually uh, set your RPM, have your R gauge for your RPMs, um, the speed that you're traveling. I think there's a couple more in there to actually have all of that set up in there. Um, disable video while driving. You can turn that on. It automatically comes in off when you uh, set all of that up, which, you know, not condoning you uh, driving around watching TV while you're driving. But if you choose to do it, you know, it's on you. Uh, backup processes, I have that turned on. I don't have a subwoofer control in there yet, but I will definitely be coming with another video. I have a couple of eights that I plan on putting back there in the back, but I'm having them, uh, the box is custom built back there. So my quarter panels back there in the back. So yeah, my quarter panels back there in the back, I plan on uh, having them built in those which the guy that I plan on going to, what he's going to do is he's going to remove those quarter panels, measure them, and then build them back out as basically with the same dimensions and actually have them in there. So therefore I don't lose any of that space. I didn't want to put a box back there and actually lose my cargo area because this is the main vehicle that we use for mainly for road trips. Um, so having that done, so I'll definitely be uploading that video on there. Jump in the comments, man, if you guys have any um, amps, subs, have you done any aftermarket stuff to your stereos? Cause I plan on doing that. I haven't gotten to it just yet. I still, I have my, uh, subs right now, but I still have to order my amps basically for my, uh, subs and, uh, my mids and highs, which I probably have my mids and highs on the same amp and then have my subs on another. So, but anywho, uh, phone speaker volume, I have that on 14, which that's plenty loud for when I get a phone call, uh, DVR top bar, which you can have that set up as another uh, streaming service. High top panel, I have that on. High bottom panel, I have that on as well. If not, it'll just always be at the top and at the bottom. Um, which, uh, with using eight, I have HBO Max on here. With using HBO Max, um, you don't have access to some of the controls at the down at the bottom, um, as well as if you have on um, closed caption. So um let's see what else we got in here theme that i have set on there right now is this one just a basic theme which you can change all of that um our set up uh i think it have it's set for 24 hours excuse me custom boot animation i haven't added one of those just yet uh open climate control window by long pressing the bottom panel of course i've shown you guys that 
um, wheel settings, which I still have all my same uh, steering wheel controls. Your system info, this will be one of the menus that you go into, and I think you'll just tap and hold the center somewhere here, and then you can put in your code and then go into extra settings, which I won't do that right now because that's a whole nother video. Like I said, there's plenty of settings you can go into. Um, your advanced settings, there is a code for that as well. Um, touch key, I don't really mess with that. And then the boot logo is just a Durango for my vehicle. So, um, but those are pretty much the settings. Um, like I said, shows pretty clear. Let me go into another um, app here. And of course, I have my ESPN and all my channels here. Same broadcast that was just on UVerse. And as you can see, the get it. See that right? The quality of the video stream. Back to the basket with the like I said, it barely turned up. Of MB. I barely have to turn you know, it I'm up. I'm cheating a little bit there because Duncan and Elijah are more like you know a little shorter. Turn it back down. Um, but yeah, it goes directly to whatever channel I needed to go to HBO Max. Open that up. But yeah, man, everything in a nutshell that you could possibly want in car. The only thing that I don't have on here, which I didn't really listen to, uh, uh, Sirius XM. I had a subscription for a while, but um, thinking about maybe adding it again, but I didn't listen to it as much, so I canceled that subscription. Um, there's only a couple channels that I listen to on there, but like I said, if you have that, uh, Pandora or any other radio service, you can pretty much add anything that you want to on here, and it'll work. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, yeah, we were watching a couple different things. Of course, watching... Um, Tom and Jerry movie and a couple of different uh, kids movies with my kids, of course. And like I said, all this is pretty much self-explanatory. And uh, as far as speed, video quality, and all of that works the same way it would, you know, if you were at home. So, and like I was saying, you wouldn't have access to some of these bars if you had the top and the bottom bar there, so... Um, let's back out of there. Of course, you got your Wi-Fi and all that stuff connected. Um, and then, of course, all of your same settings you would have um, on a tablet. Um, network settings. Been through all of these settings if you have a tablet or even some of the same settings you have in your phone. Um, so I'm not going to go through those. Uh, let's see what else we got on here. Of course, got all my mail and all that stuff console this is where i was saying you would go into um if you wanted to access a lot of your factory settings uh like your headlight settings all that stuff uh timers and all of that power lift gate alerts if you have that option mine doesn't have the power lift gate so um a lot of these options i don't use uh you can set your um auto door locks um auto close auto unlock on exit um, flashlight, uh, flashlights with lock, uh, sound horn with lock, uh, press key fob once, uh, first key fob, limb lock all doors, your passive entry, which they should have, um, reprogrammed that when I bought my Durango, but I didn't double check and I just never went back and got it reprogrammed. Uh, so that way my, uh, handles will automatically, whenever I have my keys in my pocket, I can just walk up, grab the handle and a door and unlock, uh, which I plan on checking in on that because that's a pretty nice feature to have and then for getting out and just pressing a button on the door to lock the doors but they didn't reprogram that so um but yeah man all of your settings horn with remote i have that turned off because i don't like hearing my horn when i lock my doors or whatever i can hear it just fine any other time um engine off options um i have pretty much all of that stuff set to off your other settings you have folding mirrors, uh, your instrument display, the navigation uh, in your corners is turned off. But somebody had asked me about that if uh, it had that option 
which I'm guessing it does have that option. I guess some people, if you have uh, navigation, it'll show up in your cluster over here. Uh, mine, again, didn't have that. Mine didn't have navigation, and that's why I decided to go with this unit because I wanted to go with just the factory Uconnect with navigation. And on eBay, they were anywhere between 1000 to 1400 bucks, which I figure if I'm going to pay that amount, I may as well save a couple hundred dollars, if not more, and get one of these and you get much more functionality so um your temperature control which is supposed to show you temperature control up there uh, but that's one of the things that i have had an issue with is showing the outside temperature up there but again it's not a big deal i really worried about that if i had bigger problems then you know then it would be a deal breaker but <clears throat> uh let's see language and over all that stuff yeah, your uh, in your other settings, your headrest folds. So if you needed to, if you heard that back there, but if I needed to fold down those headrests, that's how I would do it in the console settings here. Um, parking radar, park sensors. Mine doesn't have that either, but again, you have all of access to that in here. Uh, rain wipers, hill hill start assist, parking, uh, park view, image lines, rear auto park. Uh, which I don't have that feature either. But again, if you have all of these features, you still have access to all of these features. Your blind spot, uh, spot alert, uh, power steering, you can change all of that. You can either enable or disable. I have my paddle shifters disabled because I hardly ever use them. Um, your power steering, I have that set to sport, of course. You have all your brake options, uh, suspension, uh, trailer brake, of course. Your, and here's where you would come to set up all of your other settings as far as your factory amp and all that stuff or this is part of it um let's see here all your auxiliary stuff yeah here is here um which i have my volume have it turned all the way up so basically utilizes the sound from the factory amp um as well as this volume so i barely have to turn it up and then this is what i have my bass mid and my treble set at uh Zoom in a little bit there so you can see that a little bit better. Um, that's what I have all of my settings set at. Uh, that on, surround on, amp switch, and that's on. So, yeah, those are all of the extra settings you can go into as well. Like I said, there's about three or four different settings menus to where you can change audio, you know, uh, pretty much any setting that you could want to change. Uh, let's see if I'm leaving anything out. Talk navigation, audio. Um, if you guys have any questions about something that I didn't cover, jump in the comments section and I'll be sure to answer those questions. If it's something that I haven't jumped into, um, I'll actually jump into that as well and um, get you an answer for that. But YouTube works exactly how it will work on anything else. Going to the video here. Another cast that I'm subscribed to. I think on one of my other channels. I need to subscribe to it on this channel as well. Uh, True Grit Customs. The guy's paint skills are amazing. Um, along with another partner of mine, which I go to his channel here in a minute. Uh, yeah, I am subscribed. Uh, boom partner bezo with wheels he does a little bit of everything man from uh painting firearms cars you know it's all the stuff that he's done i've also you know what i mean had him paint my durango at once it was red the red line red had him painted a uh charcoal gray but yeah man he paints a whole lot of stuff so jump in the comments man uh, or should I say in the description, I have the uh, link to his channel in there as well. If you guys want to check out his painting videos. But yeah, man, other than that, go back to the home screen. Like I said, you have access to pretty much any and everything that you would on uh, a normal, uh, normal tablet. You know, so I mean, I have all my channels and stuff that I can jump into and it'll get you all of your uh, streaming needs that you may need 
Um, don't really know what's on TV right now. I have all these channels and don't know what there is to watch. Let's go back to ESPN. ESPN 2. Watch a little get up. Man, so that's that a little today. ESP in there, man. So, but other than that, man, that is it. Appreciate y'all for checking out the channel. This is video number two, just getting started. So if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. And again, man, subscribing, jumping in the comments, man, that will get you entered into the giveaway. Um, haven't really decided what I'm going to give away on this channel yet. On my other channel, you can check that out, Mr. Martin 405. Um, I'll throw that link in the description as well. Subscribe to that channel. Um, I've decided on a 4K camera because I want to encourage and uplift people to start their own YouTube channels, man. With the way things are right now, with people having to, you know what I mean, still kind of quarantine, you can't move around like, you know what I mean, we once did at one point in time. Um, people are on youtube that much more so i mean if it's something that you're doing already you know what i mean pull the camera out record throw you a couple videos out there man you just never know so um i'll be dropping the information and dropping a video for the kind of camera which it's a, a 4k camera with the uh uh swiveling screen so that way you know if you want to be uh recording yourself while you know in the video and flip it back around i know some cameras you know, the uh, the screen is stationary on the back, so you can't really see yourself when you're flipping the camera back and forth. Um, which, yeah, I'll be throwing all of that information in on that channel. So subscribe to that channel as well. I have that in the description, but appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all checking out the channel, man. Till the next video. Peace.